space at the end of your shift. Shit. Where did all these monsters come from? A mere hypothesis, but I suspect they're the bodies of dead soldiers that have been infected by sprouts. A fucking hypothesis? Are you shitting me? It's merely my own determination. This has never happened before. Fuck me. So how did it happen? I guess that something went wrong with the sprouts after Petrov caused the malfunction. about the thing they grew in the germination department? I heard it's something between a Venus flytrap and a gigantic hemlock plant. What's that about? Who knows? It's just a little genetic mishap, and now it's more like a carnivorous animal than a plant. They even took a whole tank of PA-400 over there for it. They should have nipped the thing in the bud. They're gonna get themselves in trouble over there. For sure. That should be fine if they keep spraying it. Freaking critters. This place just keeps getting more and more fucked up. Weed-whacking time! Jeez! How many of you are there?
sons of bitches. Hey! Hey! Can you... Can you finish me off, please? What the... J just wait for a medic, okay? What? Medic? The entire facility has gone tits up. And who knows when the rescue team are gonna be here. But I'm hurting right now. I'll never walk again anyway. Uh, what... What makes you think the whole place has gone tits up? If this happened in Vavilov alone, people from other complexes would be here already. It's happening everywhere, isn't it obvious? Maybe there's a way to lift this thing. Give me a sec, okay? There were three of us. They tried to lift it, but it failed. A robot could have lifted this, but we can't ask them now. Right. I'll try to figure something out. Just be quick. It hurts. A lot. <coughs> Geodesic geology robot. Harmless, my ass. What other tricks does it have up its sleeve? I'm not sure. I don't have access to this model's data. I wish it didn't have access to us. I couldn't agree more, Comrade Major. Come on, let's go find that canister. At least we won't have to find the door to the shop. We can just climb through the window. Authorization. Major Nichayev, codename P3, access granted. Access granted.
Authorization. Major need. think the canister might be a device that dispenses the luminescent polymer is located on one of these platforms <sighs> let's go find it Just getting started. Canisters are used with polymer dispensers, Comrade Major. One could prove useful. Yeah, that's why I grabbed one. It looked awfully... specific. Oh, finally, someone new to talk to, and a live one, too. New? Did someone else come here before me? Sure. See that dead body? That's Alexei, the technician. They've been having quite a conversation since they killed us. The thing is, about 20 minutes ago, the light sort of went out of him. He did manage to say something right at the end. But it was complete gibberish. What do you mean, went out? Oh, I don't know. He kind of expired, so to speak. I think this must be all the vaccination's fault. Dead people being so chatty, I mean. Residual brain activity or something. What else could it be? Was anyone else here? Look around. There's plenty of victims. Not all of them were in a talkative mood. But take Ivan, for example. He was an assistant professor. He talked for days on end. Or comrade Ulumbekov. He went silent this morning. Man, he was ill. All expired now. And still holding on, you see. Don't you wonder why? Oh, yeah. Sure I do. But it's fascinating. Tell people about it if you make it out alive, okay? At least that way, the science will get something useful out of all this carnage. Oh, yeah. Anything for science, right? Well, not anything. If you're suggesting that I'm getting a little carried away. But if you get a chance... Okay. So long. Attention. You have 
applications can now be submitted for non-working weekend days. Medium to high social credit is What will it be, Major? Weapon? something about the mushroom spores in the germination department. They sent us another robot, they said it was on the fritz, so we opened it up, and it's full of mushrooms on the inside. The whole thing is packed with mycelia. What is it about the robot's polymer environment that the mushrooms like so much? Canister detected. Synthesizing luminal polymer. Canister will be built in 35 days. 35? Great. I'll come back later. The synthesis process can be sped up. That's good news. How? The massive mixers that enrich raw polymer with anaerobic bacteria operate at a set speed. So if the speed is increased, the process will get sped up too? Where's the control panel? There isn't one. Under normal circumstances, the speed of the process does not vary. But a shock blast could provide their electric motors with extra voltage. Now we just need to find those motors.
gotta be careful. It's a long way down. I could get hurt. Hurt? You're an optimist. That's my thing, Chucky. that your unscheduled maintenance has initiated the repair algorithm. Chuck. Just need to speed up the last motor. Well, no, at least I don't have to worry about ammo.
Pleasant lights all around, chelas buzzing in the distance. How romantic. Then collect the canister now. I don't love you. I'm sorry. Comrade Major? Yes? Got something constructive to say? Have I done something to offend you? Why are you taking your frustration out on me? <sighs> Sorry. It's not your fault. I'm just mad at myself. Why? You didn't kill Petrov. He was killed by his own weapon. A hostile robot. That doesn't matter. I was supposed to take him alive, and I failed. 
And that's not all. Sechenov saved my life. He's like a father to me. As far as I can remember, anyway, I let him down. How much of your life do you remember, Comrade Major? Uh, two years, maybe a little more. I can't remember much from before I got hurt, but as I said, he's like a father to me. If there's anything I'm sure about, it's that. Fair enough. But it's illogical to berate yourself for something that isn't your fault. Who cares if it's logical or not? Dr. Sechenov was counting on me, and I let him down. So, what will it be, Major? Weapons or... in here. You call this comfortable? The temperature in the shop seems to have risen to an extremely high level. Ah, no shit. The heaters must have malfunctioned. The workshop will remain filled with superheated air as long as they remain as they are. Got it. They must be in a room somewhere around here. Wow. This place looks like no one's been here in a decade. It could be due to a malfunction in the gravitational modulation system, or excessive polymer fertilizer production.
have recently been in contact with warm-blooded experimental samples. Refer to the medical center for an urgent checkup. Repeat, attention employees who have recently been in contact with warm-blooded experimental samples. Refer to the medical center for an urgent checkup. look like they're about to blow. What the hell are we supposed to do? I have no data. I've never been here before. <sighs> okay. I'll deal with it. Everybody can have the same rights and responsibilities. So everybody could be like everybody else. Okay, I found the opening. Now, I just need to figure out how to put your damn thing on. Before. It's cryogenic, right? Indeed, it is. That is a Fahrenheit, a candle filled with cryopolymer. It's designed to reduce temperatures and equalize pressure in high temperature furnaces. I'll try getting them into the boilers. How do I get into the pipe? Ugh. What do I do now? Lug this shit to the 
boiler myself? It worked. Two more left. Gee, are you sure? Good thing the pipe's opening's in the next room, and not over by the birch tree. Okay, second one's all set. came up with all this shit. I'm sick to death of shoving balls into tubes. We're doing this so we can leave the Vavilov complex. Why can't I just, I don't know, walk out a regular door? I'm afraid only an irregular door is available. Have you found Dr. Filatova yet? The one who helped Petrov butcher hundreds of people? No. She's still crawling around somewhere. I emphasize that Dr. Filatova must not be hurt. If her life is threatened, you must come to her defense. What? Rescue the bitch whose fault it is I'm wading knee-deep in gore? What the fuck? Traitor Petrov used Dr. Filatova without her knowledge. She had no inkling of his true intentions. I mean the viciousness of his homicidal maniac. Her guilt must be established by a court of law. <laughs> Too good for her. She deserves no less. Dr. Filatova is a renowned neural surgeon. Dr. Sechenov entrusted her with a collective research that connected both humans and robots. She must not be hurt. Did I make myself clear, Comrade Major? I'll keep it in mind. What's the hot workshop used for? Heat-resistant polymers are made here. But most of the research is dedicated to the cultivation of heat-resistant flora. Nice. The polymers here are enriched with essential oils from Cacticae cereris, a cactus. The polymers make it possible to cultivate groups of plants that are adapted to high temperatures. Do they want to make the desert greener or something? Something like that. They plan to terraform Mars. 
Everything here seems pretty cut and dry. We should head back before something fucked up happens. What do we know about Petrov's girlfriend, Charles? Are you referring to Dr. Filatova? That's what I said. Did the cat get your tongue? Do you know her? Dr. Larissa Filatova, MD, has worked with Dr. Sechenov for many years. He entrusted her with one of the most crucial aspects of Collective 2.0, with good reason. She replaced the late Chariton Zaharov in that role. Who's Zaharov? A tenured professor of medical science, an esteemed neurosurgeon, and one of the scientists who vanquished the Brown Plague. Chariton Radionovich Zaharov was also Dr. Sechenov's closest friend and trusted colleague. They laid the foundation for Facility 3826 together. Great, whatever. So what about Filatova? She's a talented neurosurgeon and was Comrade Zaharov's student and assistant. She continued the professor's work Third after he died. But she is now a criminal and a traitor to the motherland. Understood. It's too bad. She's kind of cute. Lunar polymer canister connected. The tree, it's glowing. <laughs> it's beautiful. The preliminary power generation phase has begun. Attention, distribution center employees. Access to the right wing of the complex is now available. 557A, number 907-44K, and number 075-332N. Your sentences have been altered following a case review. Please hand over all equipment to your supervisor and proceed to social control. Repeat. What will it be, Major? Weapons?
What's this crap? That is a sprout. What's a sprout? Sprouts were designed as highly efficient feed for large livestock. But there's something wrong with this sprout. Killer chicken. Now I've seen it all. their attention is not advised. Too late. took your sweet time, didn't you? No, I'm not the rescue team. More like a vanguard. Well, I'll be damned. Plenty of time has passed, but there's still no alarm. No army coming to the rescue. Did you see how all this got started? Can you tell me about it? I don't want to, but I certainly can. The machines didn't attack right away. They sort of spread throughout the facility at first, so they could attack all at once. I suspected something was off the moment the lab tech robots all went into our offices and positioned themselves behind people's backs. Most of my colleagues died right at their workstations. What scared me most wasn't the killing, but the way they slowly walked towards the humans. It was kind of like gym class, when they tell you to split up into pairs. How long ago did you die? I don't remember, but I stayed alive longer than most. The machines couldn't get to where I was, since there was no way in. There was shooting, and then hoses started coming out of everywhere. Most people died in the first couple of seconds. Very quickly. The robots either smashed their heads in or snapped their necks, like popping the caps off soda bottles. We took to our heels, but then a lab tech grabbed comrade Afanasian. There was a soldier around who tried to stop them. He just had time to say, oh, that's where I sort of stopped being scared and charged the robot. The last thing I remember is being dead. Um, I'm sorry. We're gonna take those motherfuckers down. You can't blame the machines. Humans did this. Doesn't look like an accident to me. It'd take months to plan something like this. Okay. They'll send someone for you once this is all over. Frankly, it won't make much difference to me. Better make sure this contagion or whatever's wrong with the robots doesn't spread to the other complexes. Congratulations on your promotion, comrade Zolotukhin. Deputy Director of the Vavilov Complex is a very important position. Right now, our primary goal is to provide the Soviet people with sustenance, which requires great attention. But very, very soon, mankind's first steps into outer space will begin right here as well. As an outstanding botanist, you will be tasked with overseeing the creation of entire systems of plants designed to terraform the surfaces of other worlds. Comrade Sechinov and I had a talk earlier, and we're both delighted that you have joined our team. <laughs> you see, Vic, we do not just want to plant corn on the moon. We want to take a bite of a bigger apple on 
Mars. I've got a personal request for you, Vic. The Pavlov complex is in the middle of a big polymer study right now, and humdrum though it may seem, they're short of testing sites. Could you do me a favor and put a small department off in a remote wing somewhere? They just need to observe how animals behave in a polymer soup. It's top secret, of course, but just about everything in your complex is top secret, isn't it? Pavlov will start sending you the polymer in vats first. We'll build a pipeline just as soon as the Ministry of Finance approves it. Thank you in advance. Comrade Zalatuchin, my dear colleague, we haven't really had a chance to get acquainted yet. But I assure you, if you attend our theater under my guidance, you'll never forget the name Lastoshkin. I've got a little favor to ask you. Could you send us a few of those fascinating flowers of yours? The theater just isn't green enough, and it could use a little more exoticism if you catch my drift. A little bird told me you've got some creeping bushes now. I'd love to have a dozen of those to wow my VIPs with. I'll make it worth your while, of course. Sincerely yours, Stefan Lastoshkin. Oof, cold. What's with this place? Its purpose is to study how living things can survive in a vacuum. So it's for planting crops on the moon and stuff? Among other things, yes. The research conducted here applies to a wide range of subjects, from primitive single-cell plant life to livestock and other animals. That's some neat fish you've got in that aquarium. Or the guys at Pavlov just sending us junk. I'm just not getting it. They've got different polymers over there with different characteristics. We go traits into polymers here, but over there they splice them in. Does that make sense? Don't get too smart, buddy. Or, well, I didn't see the no cup was tough obsessed, you know? Yeah, I hear ya. Oh. Keep turning my chirp around with my elbow by mistake. I have to get rid of that function in the next update. Thank <laughs> you. 
Ugh, what a goddamn clusterfuck. Greetings, Valentin Demjanovich. Who? Me? The computer mistook you for the head of this laboratory. Reminder, it is time for you to take your blood pressure medication. Playing an excerpt from an automated recording of your last work shift. Oh. Yes. It's much better. Opera is doing wonders for me. Definitely. So. On with my log. Day 783. Ah, yes. At first, it was extremely difficult for me not to pay any attention to this circle of life, as they call it. It's spinning. But then I realized that there's do the something trick. of an art form to it. Circle of life, indeed. Why yeah, did they even have to invent the name? Our superiors think that propaganda increases productivity. <laughs> so to them, their employees are nothing but mindless swine, like these animals. Well, this isn't killing, it's just maintaining the circle of life. <laughs> you know what, Oliver? Even if we are just swine, who gave us the right to mistreat the other swine, right? I'm awfully sorry for you. I truly am. God knows it's true. You died. A hero's death. I'm even thinking about building you a memorial. <laughs> I promise, I will. Sometimes I think that when put to classical music, the convulsions themselves become a kind of dance of death. After all, new pigs keep being born, and yet the same pig keeps on dying. Did I just kill all of them? It's standard to the manufacturing process. It's where the polymer's organic components come from. Where'd they all go then? To the algae workshop. To undergo polymeric synthesis. I don't even want to know. The Cold Lab. This is the proving ground for some of the most cutting-edge scientific experiments in the world. <laughs> to long-term exposure to vacuum. Lab animals are submerged in a polymer solution in temperatures so they can adapt to alternative sources of oxygen. Their lungs are filled This lab is where organic source material critical to the operation of the Pavlov complex is assessed, analyzed, and processed. The resulting material is then transported by specially constructed sterile pipeline. planners in one place before. This is where they grow the plants that will be used to terraform the Moon, Mars, and Venus. But right now it's not working for shit. We need to find the control panel. As its name implies, the germination workshop is concerned with growing, controlling, and observing young plants. 
Facility scientists do not have the luxury of waiting days for experimental seeds to sprout. Shit. Nothing but dead bodies. There's a power activation laser relay on the wall. Okay, I can deal with that. But I will never get used to this shit. Please select the desired procedure. Access granted.
There we go. So how do I fill the canister? The canister fills with cryopolymer automatically. We just need to wait. That sounds a little too easy. Looks like we've got company. I knew there was no way we could just wait patiently for this thing. students have come up with a new pastime. They're playing tic-tac-toe on the breeding beds. One of them plants corn and the other plants tomatoes. And they go back and forth like that. I was going to chew them out, but then I realized it's actually Shit! What's the matter with it? What am I supposed to do? The canister will be filled with an optimal low temperature is maintained in the workshop. The fans blow cold air into the room. They need to stay on and don't let the sprouts fly into the spinning fan blades. Why the fuck didn't you tell me that before? Shit, the fan turned off. Try using shock to restart it. A little game. It's like a whole new kind of chess. What do you think about opening an agricultural gaming club?
sure love these goddamn canisters of yours. You guys never get sick of shoving them into things. Well, it's a tradition. Yeah, well, maybe you should think about reevaluating your traditions. If I see one more canister. Do you like it here, sugar? I find this facility so depressing. It sure is. Why? Is there a more cheerful place somewhere? Of course there is, handsome. Anywhere I can tie up disgusting, horny creeps will do for me. Ugh, you're seriously fucked in the head, lady. Oh, honey, it's the ones with tendrils sprouting out of their heads that are seriously fucked. Not me. So you didn't like it here because there weren't enough people? There are never enough. I'm so bored. You are a breath of fresh air, handsome. Enter me, hard and often. Oh, fuck.
capable of transmitting waves over a specific... Did you hear that? I hear everything you hear, Major. So? What do you think? Crispy critters! Quiet, damn it! There's something dangerous up ahead. And that's my fucking line. Indeed. But we still need to get that canister of pesticide polymer. The pesticide workshop is where crucial research into crop protection is carried out. Many of the experimental crops developed... It was especially entertaining, of course. thought something like this could happen. It was always going to the stars, the bright future that awaits us. Now all I can do is lie here and think about it all. How long ago did the robots attack? To be honest, I haven't been very good at keeping track of time. But it must have been quite a while ago, at least a few days. How did you end up in the corridor? I was the first one they did in. Lab Tech 42 did it. I went to get some coffee, and it grabbed me by the neck, and snapped it, right here. Can you tell me anything? How did this all get started? It was quick, unexpected, and very bloody. You're lucky, you know. There are only a few robots here now. The first day, the place was swarming with them. Every corridor had someone screaming, or dying, or both. And where did the robots go? How should I know? Over the facility, I guess. I assume they went through those tunnels. A few of them got stopped or taken out. And I guess the rest are probably still out there, waiting for you. You seem pretty calm about this. Why shouldn't I be? I had my fill of screaming when it all went down. I freaked out, swore, saw terrified, dying people. Funny thing is, what scared them most wasn't the robots that were butchering them. It was seeing me dead and talking. But why do you think that is? Because it's a damn scary thing to be talking to a dead man. Ah, oh, you mean why I'm talking? I've no idea. I'm not even sure I'm happy about it. It doesn't matter anyway. Well, I gotta run. All right, see you. This has got to be some kind of mistake. Sechenov should have foreseen this. He must have. I'm sure of it.
was especially entertaining. Is this some kind of joke? Shh, shh, shh. You could, you could wake it up at any time. In two hours' time, when the pesticide reaches critical low, it'll wake up. Do you understand? I need a canister of pesticide polymer. There's a canister right there inside. You'll have to find a PA 400 polymer container. We blow the fucker to Kingdom Come, then you can take whatever you want, okay? Fine, have it your way. But won't the canister be destroyed? Hemlock needs to be sprayed constantly. We're almost out of PA 400. You need to find that polymer container right now. Yeah, right, a container. <laughs> Could you at least tell me what it looks like? It's a yellow kind of, uh, kind of cylinder? Find that yellow cylinder or we're screwed. Shit, that thing is huge. Why the hell would they make something like that? It was the unexpected result of a bold scientific experiment. You eggheads and your bold fucking experiments. Where do I find that yellow cylinder? It's a polymer container, Major. They're always yellow. It shouldn't be hard to find. Access granted. Saving data. Hurry up! Hurry up! God damn it! This is the yellow cylinder we're looking for? Are you shitting me? There should be a smaller one around here somewhere. Sure fucking hope so. There's nothing else here. Whatever. We'll just bring the whole goddamn tank back. It ought to be enough for that Pesticide fucking Pesticide level decreased. Now at 10%. Hey, Charles. This sucks ass. As soon as the hemlock stops being sprayed with fertilizer, it will wake up. And it'll crush the living fuck out of everything here, including us.
has officially paid his debt to the motherland and his best friend is released from forced labor at the complex. <laughs> Another poor bastard. Picked the wrong hiding place. Quiet! There's a mutant nearby. He won't find us here. We should be safe. Oh, the lights went out. The only light that went out was yours, buddy. For good. So I'm dead? I have to admit, the thought pad crossed my mind. You weren't wrong. See ya. Hey, Charles. If I get killed, will I turn into a talking dead too? Will I just lay there in a corner mumbling half-intelligible bullshit? It's hard to say. On the one hand, you don't have any neuropolymer memory. On the other, your body has undergone a high degree of polymerization. So... yes or no? We lack the data to make the determination. There's only one way to find out. Uh... I think I'll pass. Thanks. Pesticide level decreased. Now at 6%. We need to hurry. Crispy critters, I'm trying! is critical. Where's that guy with the pump? Did he quit or something? Pesticide level decreased. Now at 2%. We're all going to die! Okay with me. You first. Choke on your pesticides, fuck bag. That's it. Smoke break. Did you find the container? I'm out of PA 400. If we don't figure out something soon, we're toast. Take it easy, pal. I found it. Look down there. There's your container. You got any idea what it took to get it here? Shit! Not like that. That won't kill it. You were supposed to blow it up. Damn it. What do we do now? It's awake. We gotta ignite the polymer. Give me your cigarette. You can ignite polymer with a cigarette? This one? Yeah! Die, you prick! Holy fuck, it's going ape shit! It's in range! We gotta run before it... Hang on! God damn it! My leg! You okay, buddy? Yeah, we did it! 
Shit, Sprouts, get the fuck up! My leg is stuck. Shoot it already! There's too many of them! Hurry! I'm trying! If they get to Have us, you we're dead! About aiming better? They're almost here! Get up! Get up! I'm trying! I'm trying! No! Fuck! No! Help me! Get it off me! Hang on, buddy. I'm coming. Oh, shit. It's a fucking canister. Well, it's something. He's mutated! No shit, Sherlock. Crispy crap! Get the fuck off me! Holy shit, that was insane. You guys seriously got nothing better to do in these labs than make giant killer shrubs? The path to scientific achievement is... ...fraught with pitfalls. The only way to avoid making mistakes is to do nothing. Uh-huh. Just like me and Pudov. Sorry, I... what? I know I'm dead. I don't want to be a useless corpse. My body could become soil for plants. My colleagues and I will leave a trace. We were working for the good of the Soviet Union. This is... crazy. We put a lot of effort into these new plant species. This will be my way of saying goodbye to them. I won't hold it against you if you refuse, but... They'll probably cremate you. There are way too many dead bodies around here. Cremate me? I never thought of that. What a waste. I could have brought new life into the world. I definitely can't help you with that. Okay. Try to stay alive. This can't be happening. It's like a bad trip.
your heart out. Bad dog. Uh, where was I? The mutations caused by the polymer are progressing. After a month of observing CP388, codename Hemlock, I've observed some unusual behavior. The plant nourishes itself by endocytosis and has developed a way to identify where it's receiving its nutrient mixture from and extend its stems in the corresponding direction. Ah, honey, what's for dinner? Charles, they didn't used to monkey around with the birch tree like this all the time, did they? Indeed. The birch tree is first and foremost a symbol, although it does require a certain amount of careful tending every two days. So every other day you gotta run around collecting four different canisters? Ugh, what a pain in the ass. Parasites, human or otherwise. At least the tree can breathe easy now. The pests have been eliminated, and the birch tree has returned to normal. Cryopolymer canister connected. Great. The birch tree's thawing out. Optimal temperature has been restored. The PEC-4 birch tree vegetative power generator is... 
is now fully operational. Power supply restored. Done. The gate is open. We can leave the Vavilov complex now. Fucking finally. If I ever see another goddamn canister, it'll be too soon. We did it, Comrade Major. Slow your roll, Glove. I did it. I provided moral support. Yeah, whatever. I guess you helped a little. How are you feeling? That question doesn't really apply to me, but thank you for your concern. I am fine. Are we ready to leave now? Yeah, sure. I'm not exactly itching to stick around. Charles, how did Cheriton Zaharov die? Under mysterious circumstances. Dr. Sechenov is the only one who knows the details of his demise. Mysterious circumstances, huh? Dr. Sechenov really didn't tell anybody what happened? He did. The story is that Professor Zaharov slipped and fell into a lab bath full of a hazardous experimental neuropolymer. Ah, oh, shit. Poor bastard. What's so mysterious about that? Some people are puzzled by certain aspects of the story. Like what? Due to a bizarre concatenation of circumstances, no footage of this fateful moment was ever recovered, even though the labs are always monitored. Well, shit happens, right? Sometimes cameras break, or data doesn't get recorded. That is entirely possible. Another peculiarity is that the polymer in question isn't hazardous at all. There's no way it could kill someone. You yourself love to swim in it. Oh, okay. But maybe that polymer was a unique experimental sample or something. Like, a dangerous strain. That is also entirely possible. But wouldn't Professor Zaharov have known that the experimental sample he was working with was dangerous? He created it himself, after all, along with Dr. Sechenov. This is seriously messed up. We need to go to Lesnaya Station, and take the train to Solnitsnaya. We will continue on foot from there. And where are we supposed to find this station? It's on the other side of the village we're now in. Let's go. Access granted. data. 